Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about the J or the Western Pocket, as it's sometimes called. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I'd appreciate it if you would like it right down there below. And don't forget to grab my free 47 page ebook on men's style. It's a pretty awesome ebook. And if you've got questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments or go over to Men's Style q and I'll link to it down below, but that's our new Q&A site so I can better answer questions because uh, YouTube comments are broke as I've said in the past. All right, this is the question that came in. Antonio, I've got a quick question I was hoping you could help me with. What do you think of dress pants with J pockets? These are similar to the ordinary pockets you would find on jeans, but on dress pants, in my case, charcoal gray trousers. FYI, I'm six foot, 150 pounds, so I wear slim fitted clothing. The venue I thought this may work at is with casual Fridays at the office, then drinks afterwards. I would probably wear them with a black dress shirt, no tie, and dress shoes. I'm looking for this look to flare up the ordinary. Let me know what you think. Best regards, Alex. All right, well, Alex has a, it's a great question, something you don't normally see on dress slacks the J pocket. So most of the time you're going to see either the straight or the slanted pocket. So if you're wearing dress slacks right now, go ahead and take a look at them and you'll find that some of them are straight up and down vertical. Other times they've got a little bit of a slant to it. So it makes it a little bit easier for the hands to fit in there. The advantages of these pockets is they're very easy to manufacture. They don't use a whole lot. Of, I mean, they're just very simple to make in this industry standards and, uh, they work, especially I like the slanted one. Uh, the problem with the vertical pocket and why I oftentimes avoid it with a lot of my clients is if you like to wear your trousers a bit close, a little bit closer there in the hips, they can occasionally flare out if your trousers are too tight. The vertical helps to offset that and that vertical can range it. You can see it's slanted over just anywhere from just a few degrees to 20 or 30 or 40 degrees. Now, once you start going horizontal on the pocket, all of a sudden we are talking about the J or commonly referred to as the Western pocket. And we see this on jeans. Now the reason this pocket is there is there are a number of reasons, but most of all, because you can wear those trousers much closer to the body and the pockets are not going to flare out. So you're not going to get, I sometimes people call them elephant ears. And You've seen it before when somebody's wearing a pair of trousers that's a little bit too tight and the pockets are just, they're just pointing out kind of like ears if you look at the person from behind. So the J pocket eliminates that. In addition, the J pocket is, I think, a bit more secure. So if you like to put money in your front pockets or change, the J pocket you know, if you ever get the inclination to jump up on a bar and do, do a flip around or something like that, you don't have to work. The J pocket does a good job of keeping everything in your pockets secure versus the other pockets, you'll have things fall out occasionally. So that's another advantage. Now, why wouldn't we do this all the time? Again, they're a little bit, they're, they're less common and they're a little bit more expensive to manufacture. I think there were something with uh, in, in the, the manufacturing process, literally they actually had to turn the machines a different way and little things like that actually cost a bit of extra money, especially when you're making thousands and thousands of pairs. On custom clothing, I, I make this for my clients all the times. It's not something that, you know, someone usually asks for it. I, I don't just point them in that direction all the way because it is also a bit more casual. Because it's associated with denim and with jeans, it is more casual. But for this gentleman, tall, skinny, it's going to be a great look. In addition, he's not wearing it with a jacket. And the point about it being casual is kind of moot because if you think about it, the only way someone's going to be able to see these is if you are wearing the trousers without a jacket. And in that case, you're going for a casual look. So uh, hopefully this helps. I would recommend you go ahead and try this, especially if he's having these trousers uh, professionally made. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is just you want to make sure that you get a close fit. I think J pockets, if they're on trousers that fit too loose, they start to sag a little bit in the front. So you want to go again for a closer fit. Also, no pleats with J pockets. So if you start to introduce pleats, you cannot have a J pocket and no cuff at the bottom. Okay.
that's been it. I will see you guys in the comments. And again, if you want to learn more about men's style, make sure to visit me over at Real Men Real Style. And if you're interested in my premium ebook, really excited about this, over 600 pages, over 400 photographs, I link to that down below as well. 14 hour audio. Everyone says they love it. Money back guarantee, of course. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Bye bye.